I think Robert Royce Lewis has been dreaming about this moment since he was a, a, a little boy. And I know he's tired of hearing the injuries that he's had to deal with, the pandemic, he missed that season. But it's part of the beauty of his story because he was the number one overall pick in 2017. And then, you know, there's been such meteoric rises with a lot of these guys that you want it to come super quick. And he had to deal with two ACLs and he has battled back. But when he's on the field, he's an electric factory for this team. He gets his A hack swing off, he's got pop, and he's got kind of this magnetism to him, eating it up with the fans, his teammates. He's got this beautiful smile that he plays with and a reckless abandon. So I was in on him to kind of have a big moment. Even with the hamstring, let's dive into the tape a little bit and give him some love because he relaxed this entire organization. You knew Pablo Lopez was going to go out there and throw a good game, but you needed the offense, and that's his fifth grand slam in 70 games. So I wanted to give him some love for relaxing not only his team, but the crowd. And A-Rod, I don't know what the tip was. He thought they had something on Kevin Gosman with the split finger. The second at bat, it's even more telling. But you talk about pulling your hands in and gator arming a ball at 97 miles an hour. Kevin Gosman's trying to go away with that 3-2 heater. Leaves it in off, and he's able to redirect his hands. I want you to watch these takes. See how easy he's taking that pitch, especially that one. Pause this. I don't know what they had. Kevin Gosman, to me, when I watch him, the fact that he has so much success is a testament to him because he technically is one of the only starters, big-time starters, that pitches predominantly with two pitches. It's heater, split off it, maybe occasional slider in there, but you would kind of throw that out. So he's working on one plane and one tunnel. I don't know if there was something he was doing with his glove or something they noticed, but they were picking up on his split pretty quick. Gets him in a hitter's count 3-0 right here. Let's make sure we take one, run this. I dare you to throw that again in a big spot. Oh. I mean, we pulled our hands in and went line drive to left. Then we stayed through a 3-1 heater and drove it off the facade in right center. So he can do special things. And I'm sitting there watching him on the bench with Correa, and I'm thinking to myself, former number one overall picks, Let's go back to 2017 place of The sound. Royce Lewis kid for me would be a guy who's not expected to go number one overall. But if you pop them number one, I, I mean, he's athletic as all get out. He's a premium defender in center field. I know he's played shortstop. He's played, he's played in the toughest conference in Southern California. He's won the MVP three years in a row at three different positions. Pause this. I love doing the draft. And in 2017, it was Hunter Green, Mackenzie Gore. There was a lot of guys, and there wasn't a consensus number one pick right up to the draft. And as I dove in on the video, constantly I kept coming back to him. Super athletic, and he has a sparkle in his eye. And that's who I would have took number one, Minnesota. So they nabbed him. I want to show you him in high school as a prospect because you got to dream on these guys, just like you had to dream on Carlos Correa. Big leg kick in high school, but the freedom in his upper half and in his swing was always there. And now we're going to bring it a little side by side of what he looks like now. Watch this. You search for rhythm and timing. He's abandoned the leg kick he had in high school. And he almost goes little tap and then redirects again. Kind of setting himself. Run this. Pretty interesting move. There's not many guys doing this. Set the foot down, but then he's setting it again. Oh, which there's more in the tank if he stays on his backside even a little bit better. And I think he will. But then it got me thinking, O'Malley gave me a text. He's like, you should do number one overall picks. Take you back, Ken Griffey Jr., 1987. That's what it looked like. Number one overall, and you all know what he became, one of the greatest players of all time. How about Chipper Jones, 1990? You can't miss with these picks. These are franchise pillars. Keep it going. A-Rod, when was he drafted? And then you have Carlos Correa, 2012. That's his prospect video, and he's turned into an absolute monster and now plays with Royce Lewis. So to watch him have that moment two times, relax everybody. They get their first win in, what, 19 tries, Robert? Yeah. Pretty special.